here's meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. All right, we are taking a cloudy look at downtown Wilmington on our Stevenson Skyview camera network. Helen, it was a pretty decent weekend. Yeah, sometimes more clouds and sunshine, vice versa. Um, and we saw a little bit of rain as well, but we did see some sunshine as well, too. Yeah, and not too hot like it's been all summer. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Last weekend of summer. Mm. I know, I bitter, know I'm ready. a bittersweet feeling, right? Yes. All right, well, look at temperatures. The current conditions at the Island Airport, 82 degrees, so not half bad as we're rounding out. Yes, the summer season here very shortly. Dew points in the upper 70s, so yeah, very muggy out there. Thankfully, we have an easterly wind about 10 miles per hour, making it feel okay to be outside, but that heat index still clocking at 90 degrees. Look at our visible satellite. You can see this kind of swirl right here. That is tropical depression Julia still kind of meandering near the Carolina coast and it's forecast to become a little bit closer to us, but we saw those off and on showers today. That was from Julia kind of spiraling into southeastern North Carolina. So we're going to be watching Julia edge its way closer to the Cape Fear, but also look to my back. All this rain right here uh, stretching through the mountain portion of the Tar Hill state. Yeah, that's a cold front. We're watching that move closer to us too, and that's going to have a little bit of an impact on our area as well. Here is the track as of five o'clock winds only about 30 miles per hour, but it's moving north northwest at seven miles per hour, and it's actually forecasted to come at least near the Cape Fear region. But what the impacts are going to be is just those scattered downpours that we've been seeing the past couple of days when really not going to be much of a threat with this. So pinpoint future cast. We have those few scattered showers out there at this time, but plenty of clouds, and that's going to be the case as we advance time into our Monday. Mostly cloudy skies, maybe an isolated shower to start off the day, but definitely scattered showers are going to be likely as we go into the new part of the work week. Julia edging its way closer to us and kind of nearby as we head into Tuesday as well. That cold front moving closer to southeastern North Carolina as well. That's just going to really enhance the potential for showers and storms. So it's a good idea to keep that umbrella and rain jacket handy over the next week because it's really going to stay pretty active around our area. We're also watching tropical storm Carl with 40 mile per hour winds moving west at 15 miles per hour. National hurricane track does have it forecasted to come a category one hurricane as we go into the later portion of this week, but a lot of models, low long range models has it curving out to the Atlantic. So something we'll be definitely watching, but nothing to kind of be a much of a concern at this time. Invest 96 probably going to become uh, Lisa as we go later into this week, but the spaghetti models has it staying out to sea once again. So again, no uh, direct impacts expected with that. Lows tonight will drop down into the 70s, mostly cloudy skies. Scattered showers will be possible as you're heading out to the bus stop. Again, grab that umbrella or rain jacket for the kids, 74 degrees. And then temperatures will be climbing up into the 80s. Once again, variably cloudy skies, so scattered storms will be possible. And you can see that seven day forecast keeps a rain chance every single day as we head into fall. That officially starts on Thursday. Rain chances not likely on those days, but Definitely going to be possible. Keep that umbrella handy. All right. Thank you, Helen.